Good morning. Today we're here at Kroger. We're going to go in and check out some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So since we come into Kroger here, I noticed that navel oranges are 79 cents a piece, making this a fairly decent deal. These are usually 99 cents a piece. Also, lemons. We've been getting a lot of comments on lemons lately on sale. $1.99 down from $2.99, uh, and that is a one-pound bag. We are always getting comments on Honeycrisp apples and how expensive they've gotten lately. I thought I'd point out that Kroger does have Honeycrisp apples on sale, $1.88 a pound this week. I gotta say, they look pretty good. So peppers are no longer on sale at Kroger here. I did want to mention that Meyer has their peppers on sale, 99 cents a piece this week. So $1.29 regular price here. Meyer's wins this week on the peppers. Now I will say the asparagus here at Kroger does look a lot better than what we saw at Meyer. It is $2.99 a pound here though, still on sale for $1.37 a pound at Meyer this week. So they put a low price sticker of their regular price of $1.79 for a head of iceberg lettuce. Kind of makes me curious if this is going to be going up again. $1.80 is ridiculous, but any more than that, I don't know. We did get another comment on mushrooms, so I did want to point out that if you have a Kroger's near you, they have been getting a lot more mushrooms back in. They are a little more expensive now, $2.29, that is up from $2.19, and the sliced ones is up from $2.29 to $2.49. Does look like they're starting to get in more orange juice than they had in previous weeks, so this is good to see. We've been seeing that it's been very low. There's still some holes here, but it's good to see they're starting to get it back in. Don't really notice any price differences. Um, Simply oranges, $4.19, that's the regular price, $3.99 for Tropicana. And they do have their red seedless watermelons for $5.99. That price, it's been on sale here for a couple few weeks. So they do have the Athena melons that somebody had asked about. Two for $6 this week. You don't have to buy two, you can just buy one for $3. Regularly, $3.99. More importantly, we're starting to see these come in more and more. Tis the season. I also wanted to point out that they're getting a lot more bananas back in. I wonder if that's because they're about to raise the price though. See how this says sale now for 49 cents? Before it was just 49 cents. It had the low price thing. I have a feeling that these are gonna be going up probably about a dime. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna be about 59 cents a pound. I uh, don't think it's gonna go up much more than that. Knock on wood. I did notice that they also put a low price sticker of 69 cents on the organic bananas. I haven't seen the low price sticker. Usually when we see the low price stickers, that means when it's over, it's going up in price. So keep that in mind. They do have the little personal watermelons on sale for $3 a piece. Uh, regularly $4.99. So much better deal on these if you don't eat a lot of watermelon. $3 for one of these. Um, and you know what? One thing I will say is these are very flavorful. They really are. Um, but yeah, that's about as most as I'll ever pay for one's three dollars. One thing I wanted to show is look at these cantaloupes. Three dollars. That's about the smallest cantaloupe I've ever seen. Two ninety nine for that. We've seen the regular size cantaloupes for two forty nine. Honeydew melons have been kind of expensive. Four ninety nine for these. Somebody had mentioned how expensive lemons were getting, and I guess I just didn't notice. 89 cents for one lemon. Yeah, it's a big one, but 89 cents. That's crazy. They do still have their large Chiquita pineapples here. $2.50. You don't have to buy two here. Uh, as long as you use your Kroger Plus card, you will get one for $2.50. We saw they were $2.68 at Sam's Club. And they called them jumbo pineapples, but this one's way bigger. Not way bigger, but noticeably bigger. They also have the California yellow peaches or nectarines, part of a digital deal this week. Uh, scan this digital deal into your Kroger account. Use it on your Kroger Plus card. 97 cents a pound. Okay, that's a good deal. Another great deal, they have all of their grapes on sale. Uh, the black, green, and red seedless grapes on sale, 99 cents a pound. That's good to see. Time to get some grapes. They do have the blueberries on sale for what the regular price was, you know, a few months ago. 
um, $2.99 a pint, down from $3.49. Um, yeah, they do look pretty good. We do have a digital deal on the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese this week, four for four. Uh, with the digital coupon, you have to buy four of them and you get them for $4, so that makes it a dollar a piece. Also, they do have a lot of 10 for 10 items going on this week. The nice thing about it is, is you don't have to buy 10. You don't have to buy multiples of 10, you can just buy one. Um, this is on that deal whenever you see the price next to it. Um, and it doesn't have any other advertising or anything, just 10 for 10. They're all a dollar, so I could just buy one of these for a dollar, as long as you use your Kroger Plus card. And they do have a few different options here. They have the pastaronis here for a dollar. Most of the stuff I feel like they've had for a dollar for a while, like this Italia pasta over here, the egg noodles. Get a lot of comments on egg noodles. I mean, Green Giant, they've done a pretty good job of keep, keeping their prices down. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing it. So if anybody was curious what barbecue sauce we used for our meatloaf meal the other day, this is it, and it is on sale, $1.25 with your Kroger Plus card. And this is the good stuff right here, sweet brown sugar. I did want to point out that all of the Thomas bagels are now $4.19. They went down for a while, now they're back up in price. Surprisingly, they're pretty low on them. I know it looks like they got a lot of bread here, but they are spreading it out a lot. Look at the Kroger bread here. I mean, they've noticed a lot of the fancier bread down here is missing. Um, no real sales either. I mean, they got the home pride. This is actually pretty good bread. If you've never tried it, I do recommend it. I usually get the wheat. The Hawaiian of the Nature's Own is pretty good too. Both of these are on sale for $2.99. They do have 24 packs of Pepsi products with a digital coupon this week, $7.97. That's a pretty good deal. It does look like Kroger's is starting to get in a lot of their spaghetti again. We saw where their spaghetti was pretty much wiped out. And uh, we don't see inconvenience stickers anymore, so that's a good thing. They have a digital deal, which you can use up to five times. Digital coupon on the cremette, making it 99 cents a piece. That's a great deal. You can buy up to five pounds of these. Dollar a piece, it'd be five bucks. That's a good deal. Someone had requested that I check out some of the Asian foods here at Kroger. You know, I never really cover these. Um, and I thought this was a good opportunity to see what they got i know um you had said that a lot of the stuff was really low or out at your particular store we do see some inconvenience stickers here so we're definitely noticing some of that too but you know let me know down below if there's something here that you like uh maybe they'll get it back in here uh, i think you had mentioned the pad thai uh kikoman um or kikoman however you say that they do have a lot of options a lot of uh taste of thai different soup mixes yeah, some good looking stuff here. Golden curry sauce, Japanese curry mix. My niece has been really into a lot of Asian cuisines and stuff, so maybe I should learn how to cook some of this stuff. Maybe she'd appreciate that. <laughs> they do have some lo mein options, some mei foon. Hope I said that right. Um, yeah, I have to check this stuff out more and more. We have gotten comments on the channel uh, but a lot of this stuff wasn't coming in for the longest time. Now it looks like they've got plenty of options. Uh, they got some organic options here. The Korean uh, noodles here. Organic Chinese lo mein. Organic Japanese. All right. Wasabi peas. But those are a little hot. They've even got fortune cookies. That's awesome. Freshly baked honey fortune cookies with love. Freshly baked with love. <laughs> yeah, that's good to see. New options available. We do see more inconvenience stickers up here, though. So if you do find it, you know, as I say in anything, um, if there are inconvenience stickers and there are some, if it's something that you need, don't wait on it because they may not get it back in for a while. Looks like Prego has an amazing deal going on here. $1.27 digital deal. You can buy up to five times. Yeah. $1.27, that's half price. More than half price of the regular price here. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Looks like some of the Goya beans have actually gone down in price. These uh, chickpeas were $1.99 last week. $1.79 now. We've been covering a lot of the Goya beans because people have been saying uh, they've been having trouble finding a lot of the stuff. I always say Walmart. Walmart seems to have a ton. But yeah, Kroger always seems to have a decent amount too. And they've got some of the adobo spices that some people have asked about. And 
They do have the split peas. I don't think we're having much of a problem with these anymore. I seem to find these at every store. There was a time when we couldn't find any of the dry beans just a few months ago. They do have rice aroni on sale for a dollar a piece this week with your Kroger Plus card. $1.25 for the Nor Pasta sides, but you notice we see the low price on there. We all know what happens with that as soon as that goes away. I don't know. I have a feeling these are going to be like $1.29. I, I, again, I can't see them raising the price too much on these or people just aren't going to buy them. They need to lower the price on these uh, Ben's Original Ready Rice packets or give me a bunch of coupons to send out to our viewers because $2.49 is just, I don't know, that's really expensive for the small amount of rice you get. Um, they do have the jasmine in. Been hearing that a lot of people ha haven't been able to find the jasmine. Um, but yeah, it's two thirty nine dollars at Meijer, and you know, I, it's pretty much cheaper everywhere else. Something I just kind of stumbled on here. I did take a quick glance at the ad. I saw they had some stuff earn four times fuel points with pickles here. Now, you, <laughs> you'd have to buy a lot of pickles for that to add up to anything, but um, it's good that they're doing that, though. So, you know, with the gas going up as much, it went up another 40 cents overnight here. It is now four seventy nine dollars a gallon. The highest it's ever been in Cincinnati, Ohio. I mean, it's crazy, but it's good to see they got pickles because, well, you know, we've the pickle shortage of 2022 seems like, you know, and we've been seeing more and more come in. Some places have a lot less or none. We saw Meyer didn't have too much, but looks like they're getting them in here. I probably should have showed all the other pickles that they have here, too. Um, some sales going on, too, like the Kroger's, $1.59 uh, $1 down from $1.89. They have the Mount Olive on sale, the Spears for $1.99 down from $2.59. Lots of good sales at Kroger this week. I did want to point out that the Quaker Oats have finally shot up in price. The Quick Oats and the Old Fashioned Oats, $6.99. $6.99 for the big one. I believe it's 42 ounces. Let's check. I think it is. 42 ounces. Yep. And they got the smaller ones here for 419 of the 18 ounces. But I mean, that is just crazy expensive. And I don't see any sales on the... These, the Quaker's gone up too to 399 for the multi-packs. Uh, these were 369 I don't know. The Kroger ones, you know, I'm going to be honest, like Quaker's better. Um, but, you know, we get a lot of good comments on the Kroger brands, and they are only $1.79. Plus, what's this? Uh, fresh finds with you in mind, 100%. Okay, so that's nothing. That's just to get you to look at it. <laughs> that's funny. We got some digital deals on some large size, or family size, family size boxes of Kellogg's here digital deal bringing this down to two dollars and 49 cents that's a great deal regular price 469 now and you can buy up to five times all these digital deals unless said otherwise you can buy up to five times some of them aren't the family size some are just the large size but still still a great deal man i cannot believe how expensive cereal is getting no digital coupon necessary just a random captain crunch sale regular size box dollar 97 down from 329 so Pretty good deal. So one awesome thing, it does look like Kroger's is getting a lot more sugar in. We saw that it was very low last week. Now that could have had something to do with the holiday. Also, it does look like they're getting more Domino sugar in. They've got the 10 pound bags back in, 9.49. Um, they also have the new containers of the Domino sugar. I know we got some people that like the round cylinder containers. Looks like they're doing away with those. I mean, it does look cheaper made. Um, no price. Looks like they ripped a sticker off this. It was $5.49, so that was the closeout price of the last ones they had, though, so no price on this. They do have a lot of the King Arthur back in, which they were out of a lot of. They also have some other options here that I didn't see uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, the Masa here, I think somebody was talking about this one a while back. Let's see, they're getting some of this stuff back in. They do have Pillsbury. We did get a comment on that. The people haven't been able to find the Pillsbury. Uh, we haven't had that issue. We've seen plenty around here. Um, but yeah, the gold medal is definitely one that has the different options here with the bread flour. Uh, I hear that that's the best whole wheat flour if you're looking for whole wheat. They do have many different kinds of the Kroger back in too. So 
good to see we do see one inconvenience sticker but this was completely filled with inconvenience stickers a few weeks ago so good to see they're able to get it back in crisco has gone back up to 4.99 for a 49 ounce thing of the pure vegetable oil uh kroger's though is 3.29 that's down in price this was 3.59 for a while this got up to 3.99 for a while went down to 3.59 now 3.29 so it's good to see something going in the right direction. Uh, Crisco canola oil is five dollars and sixty nine cents now, which is crazy. But the canola oil, the Kroger, is still three fifty nine. So no more sale on the Kroger chicken breast. They are back up to twelve ninety nine, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, these were $9.99 as a regular price just a couple months ago, but we could always get them on sale for $7.99, $8.99, sometimes, usually $7.99. But, yeah, three pounds of frozen chicken breast, $12.99. BOGO alert, they do have their pork loin, half pork loins, buy one, get one free. Um, however, no sale on it, it is $3.99 a pound. But yeah, still making that a good deal. One thing I did want to show here is, look at this. We got some Tyson chicken breasts. How long has it been? These are some huge chicken breasts here too. Um, five pound, five point four seven pounds. I was gonna say that feels heavy. This three forty nine a pound though. Um, regular price is gonna be four twenty nine a pound, which is insane. But this week, three forty nine a pound. Buy some up and freeze them. They keep trying to push this sale of the boneless pork chops ten count. They're very thin. Um, $12. I mean, they have this all over the place. $12. I mean, I don't even know, like, let's see. So this is two and a half pounds. Are they all two and a half pounds? Um, I don't know. That one doesn't say. A couple of them don't say. That's the only one I saw that says two and a half pounds. Let's check out this one. Okay, two and a half pounds, so they would all have to be yep two and a half pounds okay so same same sizes so you're not losing any weight on it but i don't know it just doesn't seem like that great of a deal but all kroger's have really been pushing this lately they do have the choice chuck roast and value pack chuck steaks on sale 3.99 a pound that is down from 7.99 a pound which that regular price has actually gone down that was 8.99 a pound for the longest time 3.99 a pound that's a great deal just to give you an idea, for 73% lean, which is very fatty, 27% fat, $4.49, and this also says low price, so this will probably hit $5 a pound before too long. Uh, that is for the one pound two. Now, our Sam's Club is still doing the uh, $4.18 a pound for the 88% lean. So you barely get any fat, just enough fat to make a great hamburger. They do come in five pound packages, but $4.18 a pound, I would rather just, you know, that's what we do, we'll freeze it, but I don't know, I wouldn't pay that. So yeah, a little bit more money on these, but I gotta say, they look a lot better than the ones we saw for the two and a half pounds for $12. Uh, these are the bone-in pork chops, $2.99 a pound, down from $4.99 a pound of a regular price, which is way too high, and that is up from $3.99 a pound, but $2.99 a pound this week, um, and these look way better. We do have the digital deal on Oscar Mayer deli meat. Select variety, seven to nine ounces. Um, regular price, four seventy nine, down to two ninety seven with the digital coupon. So, so Hillshire Farm and Cons finally went up in price. These were four ninety seven forever. Now they are five twenty nine. The regular sticker had said five twenty nine for a long time, but it's always been on sale. Five twenty nine. I don't know if it's worth that. They do also have Kroger bacon on sale this week, $3.99, down from $4.69, but the, that regular price is up too. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Not much we can really do about it. I will say this private selection, the double smoked center cut, is pretty good. This is up $0.30. Cents. This was $4.99, now $5.29. Um, seems like they always have Smithyfield on sale, but we don't buy Smithyfield. The bacon is just, I don't know, it's not any good. Uh, $3.99 for the John Morrell, down from $5.99, which is way overpriced, but, you know, everything's way overpriced today. I guess, I don't know. So, another digital coupon. Lots of digital coupons this week. They do have the select varieties of Kroger cheese, 
12 to 16 ounces. That does include the shredded cheese here. Brings it down to $2.99. Regular price $3.99, so save a dollar. Use up to five times. Always get a lot of comments on cottage cheese. Looks like the Kroger cottage cheese is on sale with a digital coupon, bringing it down to $1.99. Also, the Daisy. Looks like only the low-fat Daisy $1.99 on the sale. Oh, no. Yeah, it's also the regular here. And I got a digital deal on Dare or Daisy sour cream here, too, making this $1.69. That's down from $2.49 with the digital coupon. Makes me wonder if some of these other ones also have digital coupons. I mean, we can always look them up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why they would have it on one and not the other. They do have some creamers. I know this has been an issue all over the country. We've gotten so many comments on creamers. Um, they do have the delight in. And check this out. They have the silk almond creamer. Somebody was asking about this. We haven't been able to find it. $4.99 seems a little high, but uh, they also have the Starbucks creamer, which has been hard to find. Uh, actually on sale, $5.29 down from $5.99. Also looks like Kroger is starting to get in more half and half and heavy whipping cream. This has been an issue. Uh, they do have some of the Land O'Lakes, just the smaller ones, but they do have the Kroger heavy whipping cream, the big one and the smaller one. As fast as this stuff goes, though, I would recommend buying a bigger one. Uh, they do have more of the half and half their brand and 239 um, this was 249 so this is another thing that's gone down in price and they have other half and halves here too uh, some smaller ones if you don't use that much or if you don't think you're going to use it before the expiration date um, and they have some of the horizon organic which we've gotten some comments on and the bigger size half and half land lakes and they do have multiple other options. Um, you know, we're gonna be going to the Kroger Marketplace here in a couple days to check out a lot of the freezer aisle. I did a quick glance over the freezer aisle here. Don't really wanna cover it in this video because there is a lot of stuff missing. We can usually find more at the Kroger Marketplace, which we'll probably have lunch and stuff like that. Uh, they have a nice eatery, so we'll go over that um, here in a couple days. We, You know, whenever there's big sales going on and I don't have a lot of time to cover everything, we will always check out within a couple days that way we can bring the best deals to you we do have a digital deal on the half gallon milk bring it down to a dollar 27 you can use up to five times still a better deal to get a gallon here making uh 219 a gallon so we got another comment about the insured drinks i did want to point out that it does look like they've gotten a few in we saw this was completely empty last week um they do have some of them uh, I don't know what that is for $6.99. These are $9.99 now. That is up from $8.99. Um, they do have one of these boosts. Um, I don't know if you can use that, but use up to five times. $6.79 uh, with the digital coupon. Did want to show here that Kroger's is still continuing to struggle getting in baby formula. We have seen that um, they have been getting shipments or baby formula to distribute all across the country here but as we see here it's still pretty low actually there's none there's a few different options up here but that's it hey guys well i'm back home from kroger uh lots of great deals going on lots of the digital coupons again all you have to do is create a kroger account uh i do it on my smartphone and then you can link up the digital coupons with your kroger plus card which you will need to use for the coupons to come off when you're up at the register. We got a lot of questions about that, so I wanted to just go over it. If you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments. I'll try to get to you as quick as I can. It's pretty simple to do. You do have to create an account online uh, and link it to your Kroger Plus card. If you already have a Kroger Plus card, then you just link that in as you go. And, and it'll explain everything that you have to do. So again, we didn't cover a lot of the freezer section, but I probably will be going to the Kroger Marketplace here in just a couple days uh, to check out some of the other sales that we may have missed. That video will probably be out Saturday morning. So, you know, I try to get these out as fast as I can so that you still have time to go to the store to get the sales while they're out. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.